updated skincare routine with you guys and also my nighttime um, routine. Um, it's been about two years since I did my last skincare routine video and not only has my skin changed a lot but the products that I'm using are I'll very different. All the aspects of it. First I'm going to go through my skincare routine and then I'm going to go through my nighttime routine with you guys and actually do it in front of you. Beware. <laughs> first product that I'm going to talk about is the extra virgin olive oil. Um, I actually use this every single night to remove my makeup. I normally take a little bit of my hand, go all over, and then I go back a second time to remove my uh, the rest of my makeup and eye makeup. Um, I really, really, really love this. It is amazing it moisturizes your skin it takes all the makeup away i leave links below to articles that i've looked at myself that convinced me to use these products so that you guys can see them too and kind of make your own decision i'm not saying this is what you have to do but i really like this because it's less harsh chemicals on your skin and it's a much better price for how long the products last another thing that i use is honey um this is just one that i got at my local grocery store you want to make sure it's pure honey if you can get organic honey um just make sure it doesn't have like any flavor additives or anything. You just want it to be pure honey. I use that to wash my face every single night. I know that seems weird. I swear the moment I started using honey, my skin felt so much better and the acne was just disappearing. Whenever I want to have a little bit of a scrub, I actually just take cinnamon. Make sure it's good pure cinnamon. Um, but I just take cinnamon and I mix it up with the honey and I kind of rub it in my hands and rub it all over my face and I'll let it sit on my face for about two or three minutes and then I'll rinse it all off and I will proceed to go on to the next steps. Now, I'm going to do a really quick one about how you could continue the organic um, way of doing your skincare without the prescription products because not everyone needs the prescription products and not everyone can get the prescription products. Um, so what I like to do to keep my actual pimples in control um, as like a thing to get rid of any acne that I might have is apple cider vinegar. This is just regular apple cider, cider vinegar. Um, I got this at my local grocery store. Everything that I've gotten I got at my local grocery store or Target. Um, this is 5% acidity and all that I do is take a little bit onto a cotton swab when I used to use this. I don't use it all the time now, but when I would use it on a daily basis, I would take my makeup off with extra virgin olive oil, I would um, go back with the honey to wash my face, and then I would go in with the cotton pad and go all over my face with it um, to help make sure that my skin was completely cleansed and really help fighting the pimples. Um, it is a smell that you have to get used to. It's not a good smell at all, but when you see what it's doing for your skin, I think you'll find that it's worth it. Once again, I'll leave links to all the things that I read down below that convinced me to do this. I didn't just do this on a whim or pick these products because I thought, oh, hey, I'll just test them out. I just read a lot of articles about what would be the best to help with um, skincare problems. Um, after that, what you want to do is just use a very nice, lightweight, soft moisturizer. What I like to use is either the Clean and Clear Advantage Daily Protecting Moisturizer um, with SPF 15. So that's the one that you do if you are going to stick with the organic natural route, but you don't need any prescriptions. So. When I went to go see my doctor, they prescribed three things. Um, one was the Retin-A, and the Retin-A goes on. It's um, olive oil to take off my makeup, honey to wash my face, and then Retin-A um, right after the honey. And then after the Retin-A has kind of settled into my skin, and then I go back with the Hydroconin, which helps with scarring um, all over my face. I swear these products work so fast. That's why they're prescription. They're amazing. Uh, my confidence level has increased so much since I've used it. And because I've gotten some acne, scarring, and everything like that in the past month, I felt a little bit bad about myself. But um, even my boyfriend, it was funny. He was like, uh, one day he saw me and I hadn't been using it because I was out of it. And then a couple days later, he saw me and he's like, wow, your skin's already getting better. So I really like the fact that it is a visible difference and it does really work. Um, so that is my new routine. Um, if you don't have a prescription or if you don't need a prescription because your skin's not that bad, but you want to try a new organic way of taking care of your skin, please try this out. It's worked wonders for me. If it doesn't work for you, 
don't do it again. You don't have to, you know, but try it once and see the difference. And if it works, you'll save so much money a year on skincare. It's amazing. I, my honey and my um, olive oil last me for months. Right now I'm going to do my nighttime routine for you guys. <laughs> As you can see, most of my makeup is completely off. Pretty much all of my makeup is off. But what I like to do, because olive oil is so good for your skin, is take a little bit more in my hands. And if I have some time, I'll sit here and I'll just rub my face like this. <laughs> So now the next part of my skincare routine is washing my face. Um, what I'm going to use is take a little bit of my honey, and I take what looks like about a tablespoon in my Okay guys, so as you can see my face is completely washed, you can see kind of the redness because I've washed it. Um, at this point, if you are someone who just wants to go the more organic route, this is where you take your cotton pad and um, your apple cider vinegar and just put it all over your face. Um, you can put it down here on your neck if you have any acne here. Um, at this point for me, this is where I take my Retin-A and I take about a pump and a half not too much because you don't need a lot and I place it where I need it and I rub my face well I rub it into my face avoid like on your eyes you don't want it on your eyes and definitely don't bring it down your neck when I first got it I didn't know that I couldn't put it down my neck and I got a really bad rash and that's what caused some of the scarring on my neck um, from the retin-a because I scar very easily so when I got the rash I scarred um, now once again if you're on the organic route this is where you take whatever moisturizer you want to use whether it's your cleaning kit clear or your Aveeno just any lightweight really natural moisturizer works really well for me, this is where I'm taking my hydroconin, which helps with scarring. And I'm taking a very small amount, like that's a pearl size amount. It looks like a lot more on the camera. It's not, it's a very small amount. Applying it all over my face. And this helps with all the scarring. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope that it really helped. If you have any questions about either the prescription products that I used or the all natural products that I used, I can definitely answer them. I have been using all of them long enough to have really been able to form an opinion on them and also to have a little bit of knowledge about where to find them, um, what exact ones to use, um, and other questions like that. So feel free to ask me. I answer all of my questions, uh, all of my comments on my pages. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, and I'll leave it down below on Instagram. You can follow me on my blog, and um, also on my Facebook if you'd like. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!